just hours ago, a major break in the search for Tulsa's serial attacker. Today, charges were presented on a person who is <clears throat> accused of committing seven sexual assaults in Tulsa beginning June 5th of this year. Tulsa Police Chief Chuck Jordan announcing Desmond Campbell as the prime suspect, and word traveled fast through neighborhoods rocked by terror. I'm kind of upset, you know, it's eight women or seven women later, but I'm, I'm very pleased that he's caught. Right now at 5, we have a team of reporters and digital journalists behind the scenes dedicated this story that has rocked the city for nearly an entire month. Our team starts with 2 News reporter Max Resnick, who tells us how police say they got their man. Max? Tells the police say Desmond Campbell crashed his car into a light pole on I-44 Sunday morning around 545, just 10 minutes after the last reported assault near 11th and Memorial. He's in the hospital, he's in critical condition, and he is unresponsive. That's what OHP put in their At a news conference Thursday afternoon, Tulsa Police Chief Chuck Jordan announced 30-year-old Desmond Campbell is their serial sexual assault suspect. As in all cases of serious crime, any possible evidence is examined in the Tulsa Police Lab and then is often forwarded to us OSBI for additional examination. As a result of these examinations, Desmond Campbell was identified as a possible suspect. After OSBI identified Campbell, a Tulsa investigator Googled Campbell's name Tuesday and realized he'd been in a car wreck on I-44. The accident occurred at 545 hours a.m. Sunday morning, 10 minutes after a sexual assault was reported at 1200 South 75th East Avenue at 535. At 10 o'clock this morning, OSBI confirmed TPD's evidence matched Desmond Campbell. Campbell now faces charges on seven sexual assaults dating back to June 5th. The task force set up to track down the suspect will be disbanded and officers will return to their normal work. Well, they spent a lot of time on, uh, on static surveillance, looking for people to pass by, to come into neighborhoods. Uh, some of the most boring police work you can possibly do. It's mind numbing. And they stayed alert, they stayed the course, and uh, did what they were supposed to do, and I'm proud of them. Campbell is not officially under arrest, but is being monitored by Tulsa police at an area hospital. Assistant District Attorney Steve Kuntzweiler says he can't see charges being drawn up prior to Monday. Coming up tonight at 6, whether TPD ever got a tip that Campbell was the suspect. Live downtown, Max Resnick, 2 News works for you. All right, Max, thanks. Now, we have in-depth information on the suspect, Desmond Campbell. Campbell has a criminal record. He's been in prison since March of 2007 for attempted robbery and attempted kidnapping. He was released from prison on April 21st, just seven weeks before the first reported assault. Well, we can